If you're someone who feels a little bit static in the golf swing and can't quite get your body moving and wondering where you're losing all the power from, then this one is definitely for you. Okay, so we're gonna start on a board. Now, first of all, I don't expect you to have one and nor do I expect you to have a kettlebell, but it's really good to still get the principle and help us with the understanding. Now with the one, two, three, first of all, we've got to make sure the grip is right. If you do have one of these with the kettlebell, I want you to have reverse palms. It's something you can do with the gym even without the board, so it's beneficial to know this. Reverse palms is going to help us for two reasons. It's going to make sure we have a proper posture and the shoulders don't get hunched. And it's also going to help us retract the shoulder blades and the elbows to make sure that we're not swinging the kettlebell about this. Remember, it's a body movement, not just trying to swing your arms backwards and forwards. So with the one, two, three, we're going to start on the back foot. And I want you to have all the pressure there with the kettlebell and I want you to go one forward, two back, three through. Now, I know it's strange that we're going forward first, but the reason, it, the reason is it's gonna give us more momentum as we've started from this side into the backswing shift. And it also kick starts us off with the sequencing, so it's really beneficial. One forward, two back, three through. Now, when you do the three through, we wanna try and make sure we've got a full pelvis rotation, all the weights on the front foot and the kettlebells out in front of us like so. When you feel like you've got the hang of this, we're then gonna do it with the club. So starting on that back foot, one forward, two back, three through. Really try and make sure that you're sweeping the grass on every single contact. It's gonna make sure you stay in posture. And then when you've got the hang of that again further, starting on the back foot, one forward, two back, three through. Really make sure you give the grass good contact every single time. It's gonna allow you and the player to know that you're in posture as you do an efficient pressure shift either side. If you keep practicing this, you're gonna be one step closer to making sure you can do efficient pressure shifting whilst keeping in posture.